Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Arfat Muji from FEI Higher Secondary Naugam. Today I am with uh, chapter third. Uh, chapter is Diversity in Living Organisms. It is Biology 9th. And in this I will discuss the topic Sparamato Phyta and include in this has been differentiated this division into the uh, gymnosperms and angiosperms let us uh, study about uh, the general division that is the sperm spermatophytes spermatophyta as the name derive as here the sperm 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 Sperma here refers to seeds, seed, and here the word phyta, phyta here means plants. Or oh, these are that is, these are, these are seed bearing plants, seed seeds bearing. Hence these are seeds bearing plants. So these are those plants which bear seeds these are the first division i have to mention here these are the seed bearing plant seed producing plants uh, in the general the super uh, spermatophyta uh, uh, it has two divisions gymnospermus and angiospermus it depends on whether the plants uh, produce uh, seeds uh, without fruit without any covering or uh, may the plant uh, uh, bear uh, seeds uh, those seeds are covered within the fruit and uh, later on they have the differentiation the, about the gymnosperm this is the first characteristic feature in general of the spermatophyta spermatophyta second is uh, these are the vascular these are the vascular plants vascular plants that means in them they have vascular conducting tissues that i mean i talk about the i talk about the xylem and phloem phloem conducting vessels phloem conducting vessels they transport the material up and down of the plant this is the third characteristic feature of the spermatophyta and in the spermatophyta when there is the seed the seed seed is seed produced produced by fertilization fertilization and there is there is the formation of the embryo and this embryo consists of if we have a, a morphology of the embryo it has the pilumule pilumule and second one it has the radical radical this gives us the later on the shoot system in plants when there is the development of uh, progress in the embryo when there is the embryogenesis and there is the radical it gives the root system later on in plant root system and this embryo it is covered with it is covering with it is covering uh, with two uh, it is covering uh, within we can, i can say within within two seed leaves fleshy lobes known as the cotyledon cotyledons cotyledons they are this embryo is covering within the uh, cotyledon uh, within a one cotyledon or within a two cotyledon it depends later on the or differentiate the angiospermus in them then later on we characteristic general future they they have a they have a terrestrial mode of life uh, another fourth feature is terrestrial in chemotherapy they have these the terrestrial mode of mode of life they don't need now water at all they uh, they 
of survival on the land surfaces dry land area they start to survive therefore they have a they have terrestrial uh, mode of life these are the few features regarding the here the formation uh, how a uh, few uh, characteristics regarding the spermatophyta and later on we can differentiate it into the uh, division fourth here division fourth we can later on that is the gymnosperms gymnosperms and we can later on last division here division fifth is the angio angiosperms later on we can differentiate them into the super Spermatophyta can be differentiated into the division fourth gymnosperms and division fifth angiosperms. Let us study about the uh, division fourth that is the here the gymnosperms. Here in the sperma, spermatophyta, here the division fourth here is the talk about the gymno. Sperms. As the uh, name represents a gymno here refers at the naked naked here sperm sperm here it refers to the seeds 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 that means these are the plants which bear which produce plants in the first future bana first future plants uh, plants that bear that uh, bear naked 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 seeds the seeds are not uh, within a fruit have uh, not a covering it is uh, without fruit it is the first hence if there is no covering always the seeds seeds are within ovule uh, egg is within ovule and ovule is within the ovary and uh, the, whenever ovary is fertilized then they have a fleshy part then fleshy part is known as the rife rife fertilized ovary uh, is uh, become then fruit then we eat it is the edible substance eat we eat fruit as the fruit is a fertilized ovary and uh, we can say therefore ovary is a part of a flower then uh, these are the there is no formation these plants don't produce their flowers these are the non-flowering plants then are the non-flowering non-flowering plants these are non-flowering plants gymnosperms here uh, another feature uh, regarding them gymnosperms is uh, the uh, second feature they have a terrestrial mode of life terrestrial mode of life mode of life uh, survive in ka jo survival have wo possible hai, survive under cold climatic they prefer to survive in cold climatic condition cold climatic cold climatic conditions as you might have observed the various varieties of the gymnosperm in the hill stations in india various hill stations in india you have you might have observed them you might have uh, look upon them uh, they uh, usually uh, survive under cold climatic conditions here third one is they are they are perennial 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 for the hedge of salt but they can be survival uh, throughout the uh, year they can survive throughout the uh, year at yeah, the perennial uh, they are perennial uh, plants can uh, live for uh, most of the years and are the known as the primitive type plants are the primitive perennial and uh, primitive in origin they are most old ancient times their survival is 
about the 200 million years ago 10 uh, 10 million years ago their survival uh, was possible on the surface of the earth here are the and these uh, gymnospermus uh, that uh, third one is fourth one is these they are evergreen ever evergreen plants evergreen plants and have the woody woody system they have the woody system uh, spine uh, needle uh, they have a needle like leaf needle like leaves and uh, conical in conical in form these trees are conical in form needle like leaves uh, woody system and fruitless they don't produce fruitless plants fruitless plants and bear the naked seeds oh sorry naked seeds and if we talk about uh, how they reproduce they reproduce sexual mode of they have sexual mode of reproduction they are the fifth uh, reproduction ki baat hum karnenge. there is possible uh, type of sexual sexual reproduction in them they reproduce sexually as they have 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 a cones 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 they have cones one is the male cone and another is the female cone and these cones bear the separate uh, sporophyll sporophyll they on a, a produce in cones may hold a sporophyll just make a hot a micro this sporophyll contain a micro sporangium this micro sporangium then bear the micro spores micro spores and micro spores these are the male part male part male part this is the male part produce the male gametes male gamete this is the male gamete समझ में आया क्या होता है इसमें इसमें दो तरह के कोनस होते हैं मेल कोन एंड फीमेल कोन दो कोनस बी एट द सुपोरोफाइल इट इज अ रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ अ जिम्नोस्पर्म दो सुपोरोफाइल व्हाट इज द सुपोरोफाइल दिस इज नेम एज द माइक्रोस्पोरेंजियम दे बी एट द माइक्रोस्पोरस दो माइक्रोस्पोरस कंटेन द मेल गैमीट्स स्पोरस पोलन सेक्स and this micro spores contain the pollen sac pollen sac and within the pollen sac there is the pollen grains there is the you know the pollen grains contain later on the it contain the later on this pollen sac contain the pollen grains and this pollen these pollen grains contain the male gamete this is the number one number second as we talk about the cones they be at cones within the cones they have naked seeds and second one is in them we find that they have the another sporophyll they have another sporophyll another sporophyll known as the megasporangium megasporangium those megasporangium contain the uh, megasporangium Megasporangia uh, Sporo uh, We can say Sporo Sporogonia Gonia that contain the Megasporangium Megasporophyll We can say it, this is have the Another it is the Sporophyll that this is known as the Mega Megasporophyll Megasporo Sporophyll this megasporophyll i sorry i had the name here megasporophyll megasporophyll this megasporophyll contain the megasporangium where there is the there is the uh, it is known as also known as the megasporangium it is also known as the ovule this ovule contain the it contain uh, the egg within the ovule they are the eggs then the eggs are is the female gamete go so here is the female female gamete and you can 
find out that the mega sporophyll how you can say the sporophyll micro sporophyll you can name it the here you can name it as micro sporophyll micro sporophyll here is the micro sporophyll micro sporophyll mega sporophyll both here are present in the cones separate cones here then in this way the gymnosperm reproduce sexual they have a sexual mode of reproduction then the pollen grains uh, reaches to the reaches to the ovule within the ovule there is the micro pile there is the within the ovule there is the opening micro pile micro pile is the opening where in the pollen grain tube enters and there is a fertilization it fertilize the egg there there is a zygote formation there is the embryo development there is a seed formation seed contain what seed contain it contain within the cotyledon it contain the embryo and the embryo is covered embryo sac within the embryo sac there is embryo there is a fleshy lobus they are known as the cotyledons and uh, there is later on the seed can uh, when we sow the seed when the seed is uh, fall when these cones shed by shed off by the uh, conifers and the uh, pines uh, etc that they fall on the ground surface where the these support these seeds then fall on they mix up into the soil where they have the capability of growing that means conifers have a regeneration process they can be regenerated by the seeds by the support they form the it is the about the uh, gymnosperm they are the vascular plants as well contain the xylem and phloem vessel for the conducting of material in and out and now is the angiosperms it is all about the gym what uh, examples i in i mentioned uh, examples i mentioned here in the gymnosperms is the various example i can mention is the cycas cycas that uh, there is the example pinus pinus pine just me aata hai there is the citrus citrus which is known as the deodar then there is the uh, then there is the then there is the ginkgo ginkgo etc the few there is also example spruce etc the examples i can mention here the various pines or the coniferous deodar pinus these are collected known as the coniferous jingo spruce fir is my example both are it is the common name these are the few these are the few examples of the uh, gymnosperms cone bearing plants here you might have seen in the northern regions uh, where the cold climate is there is cold climate temperature is very low there is high snowfall and rainfall where at they survive now is the angiosperms here another angiosperms here the angiosperms here the here the name represent here we can call it the an angio angio g o i angio angio here is the name the word here the vessel here the vessel vessel some vessel and sperma sperma here again are the seeds that means here are the seeds seeds within a with in a vessel here vessel represent here i can say with i can say that it within a fruit there is another separate component there is a separate vessel component uh, for the plants where they can survive angiosperms they have a case they have a case covering vessel to the seeds seeds within a vessel within a of acb so seeds within a case that means within a covering in a separate covering there are the seeds and donia and your sea vessel seeds these this becomes the first feature these are the 
uh, and your superlamas these are the seed they are they are these are the uh, seed bearing plants and those seeds are covering within a case that will be within a fruit they are they pro, uh, there is the seed here or that we can see the seed bearing plant seed seed with seeds within within fruit bearing these are plants yes when you can say if there is a fruit there is obviously flowers then these are the flowering flowering bearing yeah, but flowering bearing plants flower bearing plants and they have terrestrial terrestrial mode of life mode of life there is a flower there is flower that can be unisexual also unisexual having presence either of the male gamete or female gamete or bisexual postacta is may what is the sexual what is a flower flower unisexual unisexual be ho sakta hai bisexual presence of both male and female parts unisexual means uh, either presence of male part or the female part flower is a reproductive part in the angiospermus a reproductive part flower is the reproductive part in the angiosperm it is a main feature of the angiospermus important feature here angiosperm if we talk about the flower uh, uh, as the angiospermus you can see they have in the center i will say that it is the male here is the female is the thalamus part and in the thalamus part there is the sepals here and you can see there is the also the petals here these are petals and there is the anther then here we can see this part it is the first part i will represent here it is a pedicel pedicle pedicel here pedicel part what is this we are the number one it is the petal petals petal the petals go one two petals what are this this is the uh, this is the anther this is known as the anther this is known as a filament filament and both are the male part male part male part of flower male part of Flower. what is this here now i represent here it is the uh, stigma it is here the style it is the ovary and the ovary you know contain the ovules it contain here ovules here it contain the ovules ovules it contain the now the all the three it is the female part female part of flower female part it is the female part of flower what is this part now known as on with the ovary is resting here this part what this part is known as this part is known as the thalamus part it is the thalamus part thalamus part and what this is the the sepal is a green in color what is that this is the pedicel here it is a flower of what flowers it i i i write it it is a bisexual flower bisexual flower be at the both it be at the male part and within the anther there is the pollen 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 grain and this is the evil it forms the eggs it is a bisexual flower here a male part and then is the female part here and geosperms if we talk about the angiospermus here further character with further characteristics now here the sexual they have they have the sexual reproduction reproduction here the pollen grain 
pollen grains contain the pollen 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 me a pollen sac cell and this pollen sac cell reaches to the uh, ovary where there is the ovules what ovule contain eggs then there is the shabash fertilization then there is the by fertilization there is the seed seed formation and the seed is contain you know the embryo embryo sac and within the embryo sac there is the embryo then embryo different into the new uh, new individual it grows into a new individual here is the i mean the sexual type of reproduction takes place in angiospermus now the uh, and possibly there is cell pollination or the cross pollination and now here they are the angiospermus are the flower bearing plant the main future important future as uh, you can see you have you have a seed and you have say suppose you have a seed and within the seed there is the there is the embryo in the center here it is the embryo is the embryo here what is this this is the seed seed structure seed structure here seed structure there is the what there is there is the totally be donors there is the embryo and there is the there is the seed port here we can see there is the seed port there is the seed port here we can say what we can contain the stored food it contains the stored uh, stored food or reserved food embryo it depends upon then it later on gives the sapling it develops into the saplings sapling here is the and uh, it is the it is the dicot seed i think it is the dicot dicot seed that means they have the two cartly cartly don a and b okay we move angiosperms have been these angiosperms have been on the basis of the number of cartly dons on the basis of number of uh cartly uh, donors seeds seeds have they have first one is the dicot dicots the uh, angiosperms can be differentiated on dicots that they are known as the dicotely donate and second is the can be called as some flowering plant monocot that the monocotly donate now it is an important question a might examination difference between monocotus and dicotus or dicotly donate monocotly donors these are the two differentiated forms of the angiosperms can be differentiated into the dicotus or monocotus on the basis of the jo uh, seed mein cotyledon don hota hai ye single cotyledon don ka hai ya uh, uh, two cotyledon don ka hai matlab uh, uh was saying a uh, single quarterly don or the quarterly don two quarterly dons can on the basis there are the various characteristics on which we can differentiate the monocotus and i dicotus the some angiosperms are which angiosperms monocotus are which dicotus are humne kuch uh, feature feature basis pe humne unko differentiate kiya hai let us we see that here, uh, here is the some angiosperms are the uh, monocotyledon don a mono uh, cotyle don na kya hota hai isme inme kya hota hai jo seed hota hai seed with shabash one cotyle don ka hota hai that means if you have to you have might have seen the maize you have seen the wheat you have seen the matlab jisme jisme उसमें खाली एक कॉटली डॉन होता है कैन नॉट बी डिवाइड इनटू द टू हेल्स इनटू द टू इक्वली दैट मींस द कॉटली डॉन द कॉटली डॉन इज अ सिंगल सिंगल कॉटली डॉन सिंगल कॉटली डॉन देन सेकंड फ्यूचर हमने देखा इनमें जो लीव्स होते हैं उनमें जो वीनेशन होता है वीनस लीव्स में बहुत सारे वीनस होते हैं और वीनेशन 
उन में रेटिकुलेट 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 टाइप ऑफ टाइप ऑफ वीनेशन होते हैं व्हाट आर द मोनोकॉटलीड ऑन दीज आर द एंजियोस्पर्म्स विच हैव द फॉलोइंग फीचर्स रेटिकुलेट टाइप ऑफ वीनेशन रेटिकुलेट टाइप ऑफ वीनेशन आई मीन हियर इफ दिस इज अ लीफ हियर आई मेंशन हियर द सॉरी दे हैव नॉट द रेटिकुलेट टाइप ऑफ वीनेशन सॉरी आई राइट हियर द रॉन्ग दैट दे हैव द पार्लर parallel type of venation parallel type of venation aapne maize plant ko dekha hoga in the maize plant you have seen that in the maize plant they have a, if it is a maize leaf they have a parallel type of, which is a mid rib here another veins are moving they are running in the maize it is a maize leaf in the maize leaf they have a parallel type of if it is a mid rib here another another venus goes parallel to the others then uh, then third i mentioned here the here the leaves and second third is the if we talk about the root system root system they have the fibrous type of fibrous fibrous type fibrous type that means if this is the basal part of the uh, it is a uh, stem and there is the tough of root of wheat coming out aapne dekha hoga maize plant mein wheat plant mein ya rice plant mein dekha hoga a type of root of they have a fibrous type of root ya hum isko kehte adventitious roots a tough of root is coming out But by the basal part of the stem it is a fibrous type of uh, root they have और हमने इसमें और देखा फिफ्थ पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस इन दिस डे द फ्लावर अगर हम बात कर लेंगे फ्लावर की इनमें जो ट्राईमेरस ट्राईमेरस जो पैटल्स का जो अरेंजमेंट होता है वो ट्राईमेरस होता है जैसे थ्री इन नंबर इफ दे हैव द पैटल्स इन थ्री इन नंबर द पैटल्स आर थ्री इन नंबर पैटल्स कैन बी थ्री इन नंबर the the multiple yeah hum kahenge three in number a multiple of three multiple of 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 threes uh, flower mein jo petals hota hai petals ka number hota hai trimeres hota hai three types of petals or three petals three number of petals are seen a multiple of three that means three uh, three ka multiple le ke aap uska ye odd way mein inka petal arrangement hota hai और इनमें जो अगर हम मोनोकॉट में देखेंगे जो इनका वेस्कुलर बंडल होता है फोर्थ फोर्थ वन इज द अगर इनमें वेस्कुलर वेस्कुलर बंडल देखेंगे बंडल या सिटम या रूट वो स्कैटरिंग इन फॉर्म होता है डेट मीन बिखरे हुए इफ वी टेक द सिटम एंड वी टेक द इट इज क्रॉस सेक्शन हेयर इज द सिटम वी टेक द सिटम हेयर वी टेक द सिटम एंड इट जस्ट क्रॉस सेक्शन अगर हम लेंगे इसका तो उसमें स्केटरिंग इन फॉर्म ये वेस्कुलर बंडल्स होते हैं वेस्कुलर बंडल यू नो दैट इज इट इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ द जायलम प्लस फ्लोयम कॉन्डक्टिंग टिश्यूज वो स्केटरिंग इन फॉर्म होता है इन द सिटम सिटम इन द इफ वी टेक द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द सिटम इट इज ऑल अबाउट द मोनो कॉटली डॉन ए वेरियस फीचर्स हेयर इज द now uh, some angiosperms or the dicot ke hale don na they have the they have the dicot they have dicot seeds that means two two cot cotyl don na two cotyledons i guess two cotyledon seed that means if you have you you have see the pea plant the two cotyledon hote hain if we take the pea इफ यू टेक द बीन हाँ जिसके बिल्कुल दो हिस्से बीच में होता है एग्जाम्पल पी पी सीड या बीन आप लोगे उसमें बराबर अगर इफ यू टेक इन देंटर देर इज दो कॉटली डॉन वन एंड टू इट इज दॉट सीड उसके दो हिस्से बीच में होते हैं दो हिस्से बराबर दो हिस्से तो कैन बी कैटर डाइकॉट डाइक तो तभी तो इसका यही नाम है डाइकॉट लीडोन सम एंजोसिपॉर्मस आर डाई 
quarterly donne they contain the uh, seeds with two quarterly donnes what are quarterly donnes these are the uh, seed leaves seed fleshy leaves it contain the reserve for for the embryo during uh, during the embryo genesis and the development of the embryo and second feature in this is they have the if we talk about it, they have leaf they have a reticulate type of reticulate type of venation venation they have a reticulate type of it. if we take or take about the leaf structure here if we talk, take about the leaf structure here it is a midrib then there is the formation of here it is a reticulate network type it is a network 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 pattern it is of network pattern network pattern net of network pattern of the leaf reticulate type of initial leaf may fire data usually they have. if we talk about uh, them there is the sitam or oh, sorry root uh, root is make of the tape root the the tape root is the primary root it is the primary primary root this is both are a later roots nickel the hair the prime secondary tertiary then if you talk about they have the tape type of root then there is the uh, formation of the another later roots root here it is the tape root here this is the it is the tape root I main primary root primary roots a secondary tertiary roots nickel are the later roots is the primary root this is the other the later roots now third and then fourth I will to discuss in this year the, if we talk about the uh, uh, the flower flower me kya hota hai usme jo petals hote hai abhi me ne kaha usme isme pentameris hota hai pentameris minus five in number five numbers five numbers five numbers petal hota hai five numbers petal hota in pentameris flower yeah multiple of five pentamer usually it has seen that in dicotly donny plants or the angiosperms which have flowers and plant petal arrangement or pentameris five in number if we talk about them in the uh, in a sitam or if we take the sitam and we in the sitam we take the cross section अगर हम उसका क्रॉस सेक्शन लेंगे उसमें जो वेस्कुलर बंडल इसमें आएगा वेस्कुलर बंडल्स वो रिंग इन फॉर्म होता है रिंग रिंग इन फॉर्म दैट मींस इफ आई टेक द हियर द इफ आई टेक द सिटम हियर इन द सिटम वी टेक द क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड इट इज द सिटम पार्ट एंड विद द स्टेप ऑफ देयर इज द रिंग फॉर्म ऑफ इट इज अ रिंग फॉर्म ऑफ वेस्कुलर बंडल दिस इज अ रिंग फॉर्म ऑफ वेस्कुलर बंडल एंड हमने देखा डाइकोटली डॉन में क्या होता है कैम्बियम फॉर्मेशन आल्सो टेक्स प्लेस कैम्बियम कैम्बियम देयर इज आल्सो कैम्बियम फॉर्मेशन कैम्बियम फॉर्मेशन ड्यूरिंग शबर ड्यूरिंग सेकेंडरी सेकेंडरी इनकी सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ पॉसिबल होती है सेकेंडरी जब भी ड्यूरिंग द uh secondary growth they have they have the cambium formation and the vascular bundles are in the usually closer ring in form a ring in form and uh, there is a cambium formation here also it is the dicotly donne uh yeah if you take to if uh, you have a few examples of the angiosperm there are a lot of examples of the angiosperm you can name them the wheat maize onion potato coconut neem plant mango banana uh, banana these are various and common angio angiosperm division is uh, common common in occurrence common in existence their number their varieties is huge in number uh, uh, they have dense population they are found in every part of the uh environment uh, they are diverse uh, diverse in species as a uh, angiosperms are main characters a flower bearing plant as uh, contain the seeds within the fruit and then fruit we sometimes the edible we can eat it as a food as a source uh then you can apple mango 
various are the examples, common examples, and uh, we can say the angiospermas can be categorized on the basis of the cotyledonae. The number of cotyledon on the basis of the some angiospermas are monocotyledonae, some angiospermas are dicotyledonae. हमने दोनों के characteristics पढ़े हैं monocotyledonae के भी और dicotyledonae के भी दोनों के characteristics जितने भी angiospermas हैं, they can be further categorized. हाँ, as you can also study about them, the angiospermas lot of the about the gymnospermas in the higher classes. I hope this is sufficient to you as per your level is concerned as you you go to thorough study regarding this and uh, I hope you understand thank you very much